bonus round time because I um, didn't do too well in the draft. I thought I'd film a block you with Tezzeret just because my opponent chose him to play. He's mulligan to five, so haha, <laughs> justice. <laughs> we would do some luck, but um, he's probably playing Tezzeret. It seems like everyone's playing Tezzeret at the moment. I'm not sure why. Considering the results of the Pro Tour show that you pretty much have to play a monocolored deck to do well ever, it surprises me that everyone's now playing Tezzeret. But he um, has nothing by the looks of it, so we'll make a ratchet bomb and probably win this game because that turn four Tezzeret's going to get him. But yeah, this is just a fairly standard control deck with Tezzeret's. He's probably going to scoop here. No, he doesn't. Um, so yeah, it's a fairly standard control deck with Tezzeret's. Um, you. You have treasure mages with a worm coil and a spine of a shard, but the main way of winning is either Sphinx, of which there are four consecrated Sphinx, or Tezzerets. And yeah, so we will. It doesn't play any counter spells, it's like a kind of tap out control deck. It has three Black Suns and three Ratchet Bombs to deal with the aggro decks, but there aren't really that many aggro decks, like I said, so I might end up taking some of them out. Um. Worm Coil's not that good against Control, so I'm going to get the Spine and hope to lock him out that way. Ratchet Bomb doesn't, it's not that good in the mirror, so I think the best thing to do with it is actually, oh, he's not actually playing Tezzeret. Okay, never mind. Ignore all that. But I think the best thing to do with Ratchet Bomb is actually just take it up and get Sphinx with it, especially when your opponent misses a land drop. Um... I think here, rather than get aggressive, I would normally get aggressive, but I don't really want to give him a land just because I've seen, in fact, he probably found that forest earlier and I just wasn't looking, too busy talking. Normally I would get aggressive, uh, oh, Tezzeret doesn't want to activate, why is that? There we go. Um, but I don't really want him to get a land, so I'm just going to find a card. And for some reason, Modo has broken. Um... I think here I would like the Echo Wellspring. Yeah, just draw some cards. Don't much care for the others. And yeah, I'm not attacking because I don't want to give him a land. I'm happy to just keep building my advantage off his mulligan to five. There he has another Wellspring. In which case it's a moot point. I think next turn, I'm probably going to... I don't know, actually, no, I'm probably not. Because I don't want to lose a dismember. I was thinking of attacking with a 5-5, infecting Ink Moth Nexus, but I don't really need to. And then, like I said, I lose a dismember, which I don't want to do. Another Wellspring. Hmm. So he wasn't actually uh, missing Wellsprings, he was missing lands. I'm probably going to tick this off too at the moment. I don't really want to give him infinite lands. Might be able to get a Sphinx with it. Ooh, another Tezzeret. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep finding artifacts. I get a Wellspring too. I would have liked that Sphinx though. Never mind. So now I'm going to find a land, play it, and then keep uh, play it, then play Ico Wellspring, and then keep still sabotage up. And next turn I might start making five fives. Um, yeah, I guess I get a swamp, just for parity's sake. You don't actually need that much coloured stuff, coloured mana in this deck. You're rarely getting colour issues. Because once you get to six lands or so, you've got a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, I'll let that happen. Sure.
That's a good thing about Tezzer, actually. As long as it has counters on it, you don't actually care how many it has. As long as it has more than one, you're not ever that bothered. And I think he's probably playing the um, eight Wellspring, no other artifacts deck. So, or well, one of the control decks that plays eight Wellsprings, no other artifacts. So, still sabotage rarely has use against him. Oh no, I was wrong. <laughs> Forget that. I was very wrong. And now I will just. Then again, I still don't really want to, because if he has dismember, he can still just kill my Ickmoth Nexus. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make a wellspring and bash him. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is going a bit. Bash. Mm. Tezzeret's gonna die either way, so I might as well just do this. I do have another Tether in my hand, so I don't really care. Make a wellspring, find an island. And pass. If he has like a Sphinx here, I don't really care. Because I'll just get the spine down first and destroy his Sphinx. I mean, obviously he'll draw some cards off it, but that wouldn't really bother me. He might not even have the... Uh... Fifth land here, because we know he was missing land drops, and he hasn't popped any Microsynth like, Wellsprings or anything. He's got, he's played the three lands he's found off those. So if he doesn't make his sixth land here, that's pretty good for us. Thinking about something. And it's five mana. Black Sun Zenith for three. Yeah, that's fine with me. He obviously wants the land, so I think I'm going to make a spine and destroy it. Keep charging up. Then again, I could just make a Tezzer and attack him for 7. And then next turn, what could he do? Not much, really. Yeah, I think that's actually the better play. Bash, bash, bash. I think I'm going to make this as well. I don't want to bluff a counter spell because assuming he knows the tether at list, he knows I don't play counter spells. So there's not really much point. I mean, even if he has spine here, well, he doesn't have spine, but even if he did, it wouldn't really do that much. Thrun, the last troll, also doesn't really do much. Um, might as well take this up. I don't think there's anything it costs five, so it now hits Sphinx, 
and if I want it can charge up and kill my own spine. Yeah, and you can see it's because Tezzeret's going to get him. So it's hard to know where to go now with this because normally you take out Black Sun Zenith against that deck, but he, by the looks of it, he was playing creatures like Thrun and the Mage, so I think I'll leave two in. Um, you definitely bring in Volition Reigns. I think you bring in two Praetors, Grasp, and that leaves space for one Despise. I suppose Tum Magnets aren't that good against him. Um, and I'm uh, thinking about still sabotage. I think I'll probably leave two in. By the looks of it, he had the big artifact, so I guess having two is fine. Um, so I bring in, I think, three despise at this point to deal with thrones. And if he's got them, Khans and stuff. Oh, someone just won a draft. I guess it was that draft that you saw me losing in. Um, and yeah, I think this deck's fine. And then again, I've just seen Ratchet Bombs are also quite bad. Could bring in Dismembers. <laughs> he might have targets. Probably won't, though. Bring in a Still Sabotage. It's always got targets. Uh, sideboard size invalid, really? Okay. So I can take out another card. I think I'll take out another Ratchet Bomb. Chosen to play first, and I would not like to mulligan this hand's fine. Not great, but turn three Praetor's Grasp is good. Give us a Sphinx or something. It also helps you work out what's in their hand. Although you do have to kind of work out their deck list to do that, and he's not playing a standard list, so that may be difficult. I drew the Worm Call that's not very good against him. I would have boarded it out if I had more stuff to bring in. But yeah, this deck's quite. Um, like I said, it's got a lot of main deck cards to beat the White Weenie decks. It's not a deck I built myself, it's just the one that went 9-1 um, with Robert Djokovic at Nagoya. So let's see what we can grasp. Oh, he's playing Memoricide. Kept in Creeping Corrosions, or brought them in, I don't know. Only two Consecrated Sphinx there, I don't know if that means he's got a bunch in hand. Um, what do I want to do here? What are my options? Could take the one Khan. Seems strange that he's running one Khan as well, that might also mean he's got one in hand. I think I might just take the go for the throat to deal with his Sphinx, should he draw it. But in that case, I could just take Despise. Um, or I could take Memoricide and take his Sphinxes. Looks like, looks like he's got a Thrun as well. Like, I doubt he'd only have one Thrun. So yeah, I think I could take Memoricide and go for Thrun. I'm pretty sure he'd have at least three post board. Yeah, I'm going to take Memoricide. And... Yeah, if he makes Thrun, I'll name Sphinx, and if he, make, if he doesn't make Thrun, I'll name Thrun. Okay, so he's making Thrun, and I'm quite far behind here. <laughs> Unless he's only got one Thrun, of course. No, he has a Thrun, obviously. There's the completely dead Still Sabotage. Um, I don't think it's even worth it doing it now. I'd rather just keep Still Sabotage up. There we go. So 
So you can't actually play as things at the moment, but I think I'm still going to hit it. Just because having two in the deck suggests he probably does have more in hand. Wait, I'm dead. I just realised. I didn't realise I was on that low life. I thought for some reason I was thinking I'd go to 10 this turn and then I'd live and then I'd make a worm coil. But I'm actually just dead next turn at this rate. I need a Tezzeret. Yeah, Tezzeret would do it. Because then I'd make a 5-5. Five five. Beast within your swamp. Yeah, that's actually fine with me. Hmm, that's not a Tezzeret. So what can I do here? I think I'm going to need to sacrifice an Ink Moth Nexus and hope to draw Tezzeret next turn. And also give him a land off Viridian Emissary. That Beast Within was actually quite good for me. So yeah, I think here I just memorize him for Sphinx, because I'm pretty sure that's what he's got in hand. It seems weird that he'd only have two Sphinx. Oh, he's got a forest in hand. Okay, never mind then. He does only have two Sphinx. Got two dismember, two go for the throat. Two Thrun, one Khan. Bit of a weird mix he's got there. Despise I can deal with, because I've got two good six drops. Well, three good six drops, technically. If it was good there, he would have just attacked with Thrun. There's no point in giving me the free kill, because then I'm, I'm in a big dilemma. I either don't block and go to 1, and he's got 2 creatures to my 1, or I block, stay at 4, but then he's got 2 creatures to my none. So that was all round bad for him. Hmm. Can't actually play it. So... Actually irrelevant. It would have been good if I had a swamp in my hand there. Oh, he's drawing swamps. That's good for me. I think what I do here is actually just Black Sun Zenith. Then there's not a whole lot he can actually draw. That will get me. So to speak. Because Khan wouldn't actually do it. Like, what would he exile? Exile a card from my hand and I just untap and Volition Reigns it. Ridden Emissary is fine. Well, I don't really want to use Volition Reigns on that, so I think this time I will just make Sphinx.
Yeah, I can't just wait on that forever. I do want to be able to have the Russian reins in hand so that if he does make can't, it's good for me. So, one time, don't draw, go for the throat or can't, and I'm fine. And it looks like he didn't draw it unless he's massively slow rolling me. Though I don't think he'd do that. He seems a nice guy. Um, thinking, 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 what are you going to do? Memory side, okay. That's fair. He knows I've got one in hand, so yeah, get rid of that. Gets a look at the rest of my deck. Fairly irrelevant. And attack. No, he concedes. Fair enough. <laughs> he didn't think he'd win. I suppose he probably can't once I'm drawing four cards a turn to his none. Cool. Um, yeah, so I guess that makes up for the fact that I lost round one of the draft. I will put the deck list up with the article and cheers for watching